What's up guys, it's Alex Dam. Wherever you are, I hope you're having a great day. So I'm gonna be doing a full day of eating and I'm pretty sure you guys like the full day of eating on the channel. So I'm gonna show you all the meals that I eat today and also just how I prepare them and everything like that. So I actually have been cutting for the last few weeks, probably about three to four weeks now and it's going really well so far. I'm starting to shred some body fat, getting a little bit lighter and my process is I weigh myself every single day as soon as I wake up in the morning, pretty much just go to the toilet, take a leak, and then go weigh myself and track it down on my phone or just write it down. Like for example, if it's the first of the month, I just write one out of one or two out of one, whatever it is, and I just put my um, my weight and everything like that. That way I can track my progression, know how I'm doing to see if my diet's actually working or not, and I make my changes um, accordingly from there and adjust if necessary or if everything's going well, then keep it the same. But so far, it's been going really well. And uh, yeah, so I am gonna have my first meal. The thing is right now it's about like one o'clock in the afternoon. I haven't eaten yet and to be honest, I'm not really hungry but I think I should start eating my first meal now just because like I don't wanna start eating too late. Um, and yeah, I do do intermittent fasting in a sense. Like I just eat a later breakfast. I don't, I don't stop eating at a certain time. I eat my last meal as long as I eat it and getting my calories, I'm happy. I don't have a time restriction. But I do like to push my breakfast later on in the day and that's always how I felt. And I just can't eat in the morning. Like I just feel, it makes me feel a bit sick and I feel just like I can't eat. Like I don't know how to describe it other than, other than I don't really have an appetite in the morning. So this full day of eating is gonna be really good for people on a budget like me. Um, these are all gonna be really nice, cheap budget meals that you can eat of pretty much every single day and throughout the week, which is awesome. Because I know like sometimes when, it, sometimes when it comes to dieting, you're thinking like, man, it's way too expensive when you go shopping and it's like, it's a big ass bill and then you gotta worry about all your other bills like rent, your phone bill, all that shit, like insurance, all that. So I know how it feels, man, especially if you're in high school or a teenager, man, like money is so precious, man. And it, it just, it doesn't, uh, it goes much easier than it comes, right? So these meals are all gonna be really good for you if you're on a budget or like just anything like that. These are just gonna be really nice and cheap meals to eat throughout the day that you can keep to keep your protein high, get your carbs in, get all your macros in and still achieve your goals of either bulking or shredding. But um, these calories for today, these meals today are gonna to be more shredding meals, but honestly, you can convert them into bulky meals by just adding in more quantity of the amount of food that I put in, and that way the meals will be higher in calories and you can incorporate it into your bulking routine as well. All right, fellas, so first meal gonna be nice and easy. We're just gonna make some oats. And I like these ones, the Uncle Toby's ones, because they're so nice and easy. They're already pre-made for you. And oats are a great source of carbs. I really like them for that. And I know what you're thinking, typical as fuck, bodybuilder having some oats, but man, these honestly taste so good. And I much prefer this to cereal. Tastes a lot better. So with two packets of oats, I always have that with one cup of milk. If I have three packets of oats, I'll usually put about one and a half cup of milk. Just to make sure um, it's really nice and creamy and not soggy, but I guess like more moist. So it, it really sucks when your oats is dry. So that's why I make it this way. So I pour in roughly half the milk. Time for the microwave. And guys, with the oats, I'm gonna have some strawberries. Now you can put whatever fruits you want, blueberries, uh, raspberries, uh, blackberries, whatever you want really. I'm just gonna put some strawberries for today. But yeah, I do like to mix it up and change it up. Sometimes I have strawberries or blueberries, but uh, yeah, get those essential fruits in, micronutrients, and tastes really good with the oats. All right, here we go. We're gonna add in some more milk. And I leave a little bit of milk towards the end so that once I take it out of the microwave, I put the milk in and it sort of cools the oats down and it also uh, just makes sure the oats is not dry. So what I like to do is weigh the strawberries, obviously. Like this. I'm gonna put 150 grams. And because they're frozen, there we go, 150 grams. I'll put this in the microwave like this for like a minute and that'll let the strawberries like warm up so they're not frozen. All right guys, so look at those oats, man. 
And I'm gonna put a bit more milk. The strawberries are ready to go. You know what, now that I think about it, I maybe should have gotten a bigger bowl. <laughs> Just to help with this so I don't spill it over the edge. And as you can see, when you add the milk at the end, like a little bit, just make sure that it's not dry. There's nothing worse than eating dry oats, man. But I'm not gonna put any honey because I don't want any extra calories or sugar with this breakfast. What I am gonna put is this sugar-free maple syrup and I need to go buy more because look at that, it's almost done, man. Um, this has 18 calories per serving and I'm not even gonna have one serving, so yeah, I'll just add that. And there we go, that's our oats, that's meal number one for today. It's a very simple breakfast, but it is my favorite, and I would normally have a side of fruits as well next to it, like maybe a peach or a plum or something, but right now I don't have any fruits in the fridge, that's why I'm going grocery shopping a little bit later. Well, pretty much right after this meal, and I'll take you guys along with me and show you what I get. Yo guys, so we made it to the shops, and it's such a nice day outside, like it's so nice and bright and sunny, but it's not like too hot either. It's fucking perfect, man. Beautiful weather. And yesterday was Australia Day, so happy Australia Day to all my Aussies that watch this. Uh, hopefully you had a really good day, man. And yeah, I've, I've been watching the Australian Open as well. That's been awesome. So it's so good to have that back on and watch the entertaining matches. But um, yeah, let's go get these groceries and we'll make a few more meals for later on in the day. All right guys, so I'm back from the shops. I'll quickly show you everything that I got. Some of these items I did get multiples of, like the rice and the tuna, but I just, I'm just i just showing you one of everything just so you have an idea of everything that I got. All right, so right here I've got some bananas. I bought some tomatoes here, and I've got some asparagus here. Um, some more fruits, got nectarines. White nectarines are so nice because they're very nice and sweet. One of my favorite fruits. We got some lettuce. We got some light shredded cheese. This is high in protein, low carb, low fat. We got some rice crackers. So this is basically like my snacks when, um, you know, I don't feel like eating a proper meal, but I want something to snack on. Instead of buying chocolate or buying like potato chips, you know, that really bad stuff, I buy these rice crackers and pretzels. Check out the barbecue rice crackers, the macros. So you get 40 grams of carbs per serving and there's zero fat. So it's like pure carbs, man. That's why I love these. These are my new favorite snacks. And pretzels, obviously very nice as well. Good macros. It's got protein, a little bit of fat, and some carbs as well. So the rice crackers are the way to go, which is why I actually bought two packets. We got some normal rice here. Just cook it in the microwave, nice and easy. Got some kebab sticks, very high in protein. We got some beef mince. This is like my favorite meal to make every single day. Uh, we got some tuna cans here, loving tuna. Uh, just very high protein, low carb, low fat. It's just a really good option. Like um, after I have maybe one meal of this and one meal of that, then I have some tuna as well and then a protein shake, yada, yada, yada. We got some more oats because you can never have enough oats. Bought some sugar-free maple syrup, as I said I would need to. Bought some stevia, which is just natural sweetener. It's a better alternative to sugar, and that's what I use instead of sugar if I'm making coffee or something. And we bought some garlic powder as well just to season like the meat and stuff when we cook it, it tastes even better. And wow, I'm going really fast here. So the last thing I bought is sweet potato chips, and it's frozen. So this is the first time I'm going to try these, and um, I'll keep you guys posted. I may buy them in the future. The macros are actually pretty good. Like they're not the best, but then they could be worse, right? So protein zero, which is fine. I'm not looking for protein, this was mainly for carbs. So fat, you get 5.5 grams, and carbohydrates was 19 grams, which is pretty good. So can't have too many of them, otherwise I'll be getting too much fat. But I could get a few servings and get some carbs, which is good as well. All right guys, so we're gonna make our lunch now. Pretty much the second meal of the day. Gonna make some kangaroo right here. And I've just got it in the burgers right there. Well, patties, I guess you would call them now. You're probably thinking like, what a fucking typical Australian eating fucking kangaroo, but <laughs> it's actually so nice, I'm not joking. Like, I had my doubts, like buying it, I was really worried and scared to buy it, but no joke, it tastes really, really nice. 
and look at the macros man it's actually amazing so uh protein you can't read that but it says 20 grams 19.8 grams you got two grams of fat which is literally nothing and two grams of carbs so this thing is so lean it's like better macros than chicken and mince and beef so it's freaking awesome we're gonna make it with some lettuce some I'm gonna dice up some tomatoes gonna have some shredded buck and cheese because we're getting shredded boys and we're gonna have some bread as well. I'm gonna make it like a sandwich basically. Um, and I know the circle patties are a bit better for like burger buns because they're in a the circle. But honestly, I didn't buy any and I really like the macros and bread because it's basically just carbs. So this is all gonna come together very nicely and it's gonna taste awesome. So let's get started. I'm just gonna put some extra virgin olive oil on the pan to cook it because we don't want no use shit. You know what I'm saying? Alright guys, we've got the kangaroo cooking. We're gonna do some flips and shakes. And yeah, trust me guys, it's actually very, very nice. And also gonna weigh out some cheese on the bread. There we go, 12.5. And gonna melt it onto the bread. All right, guys, just dicing up some tomatoes for the sandwiches slash burgers. I'm gonna grab about a handful of lettuce. Put it on our sandwich. Our burger, boom. And one thing that we definitely have to add is some barbecue sauce. There we go. Put it on this one as well. I'm obsessed with barbecue sauce, guys, so I put a lot. And then boom, that's the sandwich done. Yo, I cannot wait to eat this, man. It's gonna taste so freaking good. You gotta try it out. Oh, our kangaroo burger sandwich, man. Oh, absolutely freaking delicious. Bon appetit, guys. Here we go. Gotta get down here so I can uh, actually properly eat this. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Damn, it's so good, man. Oh, and it's like a pretty healthy option as well. Very high protein, got some carbs. It's low in fat. It's just so good, man. Love it. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm. Alright guys, so it's a little bit later on in the day and I'm going to have my snack now, getting hungry. I'm going to have my snack before I have dinner later on tonight. And I uh, just wanted to quickly mention that today's the day that actually Kobe Bryant passed away, which is uh, really crazy, man. I woke up this morning, checked my phone and like I was just legit going through Instagram and I saw photos of like people posting about Kobe Bryant. I was like, what the hell is going on? I searched it up. Died in a helicopter, car uh, helicopter crash today, which is really, really sad. So rest in peace to a absolute legend of basketball and just a worldwide star. And like his daughter passed away. It's just a really tragic situation. Um, but yeah, just want to say rest in peace to such a legend in the sport and just legend worldwide, man, for sure. But yeah, I'll show you guys what I'm having. So I'm going to have some rice crackers because for this meal, I really need a lot of, lot of carbs, like at least 100 grams. So I'm going to have some rice crackers, 100 grams of rice crackers. I'm going to have some nectarines and I'm going to have a banana as well. Get a lot of micronutrients in, a lot of fruit in, a lot of carbs, which is mainly what I need. And um, later on, we'll have some dinner and um, that's where we'll get some more protein in, some more vegetables and everything like that. But yeah, it's going to be real nice, man. These rice crackers, barbecue ones, oh, they are 10 out of 10. Yo, guys, so right now it's Nick Kyrgios versus Rafael Nadal. And I'm going for Rafael Nadal, man. He better win this oh, straight up. Oh, it's one set apiece right now, so we'll see how it goes. Where are the points? Ah. 
Oh, that's beautiful. Guys, time to make my dinner. Gonna have 200 grams of some beef mints. Very good macros, 21 grams of protein and 10 grams of fat. So that's why I prefer the kangaroo. It's got way less fat, but this tastes so good. Gonna have some broccolini, some jasmine rice as well, man. Gonna cook this up, it's gonna taste awesome. Oh yeah, and so basically to make the mince taste amazing, I'm gonna put this spice mix, Old El Paso. Damn, this makes the mince taste fucking incredible. You gotta try this out, it's really, really good. All right guys, we've got the beef mince cooking right there. And I added quite, like maybe half a cup of water as well, just to keep it nice and juicy, just so it doesn't come really dry. And yeah, we'll let that cook. And now, we gotta put the rice in the microwave and we'll cook some of the broccoli as well. Oh shit, there we go guys. Broccolini, mince and rice. Look how wet, juicy and tasty that mince is, man. Got the rice on the bottom. Gonna eat this meal, gonna smash it, man. So hungry. And the tennis is still going on. Let's go Rafael Nadal. Yo guys, last meal for the day, so I'm just gonna have two scoops of chocolate protein. Got this new protein, actually tastes really, really good, man. One of the best chocolate proteins I've ever tried. And uh, yeah, this is my last meal, and then I'm gonna go to sleep, and that's all my calories for the night. So I'll see you guys tomorrow in the morning. Hey guys, so it's the next day. I really hope you enjoyed this video because it's about to end. And if you are enjoying it, I'm sorry that it's ending now, but hopefully you had a good time watching it. And if you did, if you made it this far into the video, I need you to do me a favor right now. Go down in the comment section below and type keep the pump, right? That way I'm gonna know who actually makes it this far into the video. So if you're actually still here at the end, man, like I think it's like almost 20 minutes long, comment down below, keep the pump, really appreciate it. And that'll just let me know, man, that you're still watching the video and that you found it like, you know, it was an entertaining enough for you to stay along to the end of the video, which is fucking awesome. And if you are watching, man, Thank you so much, like I appreciate it so much. Uh, you guys that watch like all the videos all the way throughout the end, uh, all the way throughout to the end, man, it means a lot to me. And that's why I make these videos, man. So hopefully you find it entertaining and enjoyable. So comment down below, keep the pump. So we are on the way to a thousand subscribers, man. Far out, it's gonna be awesome when we hit, that, hit it, but we're not there yet, we need to get there. And the only way for me to get there is for you to hit that subscribe button, man. So, so subscribe to the channel and join the squad. And also, before you leave this video, make sure you smash the like button. And always remember to keep the pump.